Hello guys, welcome to Sunya IAS. Today we are going to start the worksheet discussion for lecture 2 of the current affairs prelims crash course 2023. Guys, hope you are attending the lectures regularly. We are discussing in details the very important topics that are in the news for current affairs for prelims 2023. Along with that information, I am also discussing in the class the relevant PYQs previous year questions so that you can assess that how the news is important and relevant with the current affairs. UPSC has certain arena from where the questions are being asked. After the lecture, you are provided with a worksheet so that you can test your understanding with respect to questions. You can develop a knack of solving those questions, eliminating those answers with the information that you have gathered in the class. Okay. Topics covered for this lecture are global conventions and conferences. This is very important. From here, two to three questions you will definitely get in the examination. Students, current affairs is very vast. Okay, You can study it from very wide sources. But Shunya IS has brought you in just 40 hours. It is precise to the point and relevant current affairs with full research material. UPSC asks questions, 80% of its questions from limited 20% of areas. So we are going into current affairs subject wise. First, we have started with environment, then we will cover polity, then economy, then international relations and so on and so forth. You can also join the lectures on our offline centers from Delhi, Bangalore and Pune. So let's start the questions. First question is consider the following statements with respect to Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants, POPs. Let's see. What are persistent organic pollutants? From its very name, etymology, it is very clear that these organic pollutants are persistent in the environment. They are also termed as long range environment transport, long range environmental transport. Persistent means they do not decompose in the environment so easily. They remain in the environment for very long time. So how does this work, persistence? For example, these pollutants are consumed by fish. These fish are consumed by large fish. And hence, it is. you can see how it is conveyed through food chain. And this fish is consumed by human beings. So, class from one trophic level to another trophic level. Okay, this is called as bioaccumulation. This process is called as biomagnification. Here, bioaccumulation happens. So, this convention, Stockholm Convention, is about reducing this persistent organic pollutants. So, re let's read the statement one Stockholm Convention is a global treaty to protect human health and environment from POPs. Yes, this is a correct statement. Union government, this is in the news because of the statement. Union government has ratified all the chemicals listed under the Stockholm Convention on POPs. No class, the statement is wrong. Initially, there were seven chemicals. Right now, under the convention, Stockholm Convention, there are 12 chemicals. The union government has ratified previous seven chemicals listed under Stockholm Convention on POPs, not all the chemicals. Therefore, statement 2 is wrong. Third statement is Environment Protection Act 1986 prohibits import and export of all the chemicals listed as POPs under Stockholm Convention. Okay, class. It prohibits import and export. But yes, we can produce them. Got it? So, correct answer should be 1 and 3. 
along with the stockholm convention you should also study basel convention basel convention is about reducing trans boundary movement of hazardous waste from developed to less developed countries it is about movement of hazardous waste rotterdam convention it is about prior informed consent procedure for certain hazardous chemicals and pesticides both of them we have discussed in the class okay let's move to the next question which of the following activities need a permit under the indian antarctic bill 2022 class you know arctic and antarctic are very much vulnerable for the climate change and are very rich in terms of their ecological balance okay we have also discussed about tipping points these areas are the virgin areas from where human exploration has not been done so much now with the advancement in the technologies human beings are reaching into the antarctic and arctic exploration is being done okay you should also know about antarctic treaty it is example of single treaty that governs the whole continent it governs the whole continent it is a single treaty in the world that governs a single whole continent it was signed in 1959 yes india is member to the antarctic treaty recently india has passed its own the indian antarctic bill 2022 to give effect to certain features let's see the options according to the question for which of the following activities need a permit ek permit chahiye ye kaam karne ke liye let's read the options before reading it class also understand that certain activities are permitted but certain activities are prohibited too jab hum pad rahe hote to hame aisa lagta hai ki har permit milega ki nahi milega kuch cheeze to prohibited hain okay keeping these two things in mind permitted and prohibited let's read the statement a person to enter or remain in an in indian station in antarctica about indian station for our exploration purposes research and scientific development we have opened certain centers india antarctic program dakshin gangotri was our first center first station it was closed post 1990s right now the working stations are maitri and bharti this could be a question in your examination these are located in antarctic or arctic even you should know about sagar sindh first indian vessel to navigate antarctic waters okay it's first indian vessel to navigate antarctic waters so a person to enter or remain in the indian station in antarctica yes we need permit this statement seems very logical disposal of radioactive waste class radioactive waste we do not allow its disposal even in different countries it should not be transported from one country to another country itself how we are going to transport it to antarctic region the statement is prohibited it is prohibited introduction of non sterile soil why we are going to disturb the ecology of that place even with permission therefore it is also prohibited think like that you have to develop your brain skills what could be permitted what could be prohibited waste disposal by a person vessel or aircraft in antarctica okay <coughs> yes 
वेस्ट डिस्पोजल बाई पर्सन वेसल और एयरक्राफ्ट इन अंटार्क्टिका देर फोर क्लास दिस इज नॉर्मल वेस्ट लाइक कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ओके कार्बन डंपिंग दीज कैन बी डन विथ परमिशन डिस्चार्ज ऑफ गार्बेज प्लास्टिक और अदर सब्सटैंस इन टू द सी नो दिस इज टोटली प्रोहिबिटेड एक्टिविटीज विच मे हार्म नेटिव स्पीसीज एक्टिविटीज विच मे हार्म नेटिव स्पीसीज फॉर रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट क्लास विथ परमिशन वी कैन गो ऑन एंड डू सम रिसर्चेज therefore the correct answer should be 1 4 and 6 b b should be the correct answer let's look at the question number 3 consider following statements regarding united nations conference on human environment 1972 this is also known as stockholm conference class understand there is a difference between stockholm convention and stockholm conference nineteen seventy two ab isme agar fifty add karenge to what will happen it will become twenty twenty two it means we are celebrating stockholm conference plus fifty therefore it becomes little bit important a question can be asked from it Class, this was the beginning when we thought about our planet, the ecology, the biodiversity, the sustainability of this planet. And later, in 1987, a Brundtland report was there. Brundtland Commission report. Our common future. from here from these we got the concept of sustainability sustainable development so class do remember this is important now let's see the statements one of the major results of the stockholm conference was the creation of the organization greenpeace class no after this conference the world realized that we need certain institution to take over the environmental aspect and hence it led to the creation of united nations environment program unep unep was established because of it not greenpeace got it greenpeace is an ngo it is united nations environment program that was created remember this statement 2 it was inspired by the creation of ministry of environment and forest by india class this you, some students might think it is very easy to eliminate statement 2 but some students in the class may also think that okay the statement could be right we have established this ministry in 1985 okay and environment protection act came in 1986 ministry of environment and forest by india environment protection act came in 1986 so remember after these developments of stockholm conference brundtland commission we realized its importance okay this led to the historic united nations conference on environment and development in 1992 from which you get the organizations like unfccc unccd agenda 21 forest principles rio declaration on environment and development it was only because this was the seeds that were sown in the 1972 and its root came into different environmental organizations got it so correct statement should be d neither one nor two correct let's see question number 4 which of the following has launched green fins hub class green fins hub is the first ever global marine tourism industry platform marine tourism industry platform this is about skilling training the marine personals for example you are going for snorkeling scuba diving how to manage the balance 
between human beings and marine animals so green fence hub initiative is of that it is launched by unep this is a factual question you must remember this not by greenpeace international ipcc will never do this work you know this it does not do its own research as well global green growth institute no it is done by united nations environment program green fence initiative and uh, you should know more about unep what reports are being brought by unep emission gap report adaptation gap report global environment outlook is very important global environment outlook about unep if i say governing body of unep is united nations environment assembly it meets biennially there are certain campaigns by the unep known as beat pollution or united nations 75 it does certain works for the wildlife also so i have talked so much about unep so that you can remember next question is which of the following statements is are correct regarding blue flag certification class blue flag certification is given to the beaches which maintain certain criterias there are 33 criterias for it categorized into four it is based on environmental education and infrastructure the four criterias that you should know environmental education and infrastructure of the beaches ba bathing water quality environmental management and conservation and safety services okay this is blue flag certification is provided by a denmark based ngo called as fee denmark based ngo not by unep okay it's an ngo non profit organization so let's read the statement one it is an internationally recognized eco level that is accorded based on 10 criterias no class it is based on 33 criterias as you know and these criterias are categorized into four components blue flag beaches are considered the cleanest beaches in the world yes these are considered as cleanest beaches in the world it is accorded by the international jury composed of eminent members of united nations security council no 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 why security council will give blue flag certification to the beaches <coughs> statement 3 is wrong statement 1 is wrong therefore option a should be correct only two options recently minikoy thundi beach and kadmat beach minikoy thundi beach and kadmat beach has been given blue flag certification they are they are where located lakshadweep so match the column a question may come in your examination for match the column total number of sites total number of beaches that have been accorded blue flag in india are 12 previously it was 10 with the recent blue flag certification to the minikoy and thundi we have 12 beaches on the same lines india has launched a program known as beams beams it is beach environment and aesthetics management services okay beach environment and aesthetics management services see coastal safety is very important <coughs> other initiatives by the government of india are national center for sustainable coastal management sustainable coastal management integrated coastal zone management plan coastal regulation zones you know coastal regulation zones 
had been recently amended, so you should know about them also. Okay. Next question is, which of the following statements is are correct about Global Clean Energy Action Forum? Class, Global Clean Energy Action Forum, first time it was hosted by, very first time it was hosted by United States. Yeah, this is true statement. Okay. This is the news basically. This, this is the reason it was in the news. Global Clean Energy Action Forum. Basically, this is a ministerial of two joint meetings. One is Clean Energy Ministerial. Its 13th meeting was there. And 7th meeting of Mission Innovation. ministerial so the focus the focus is about low cost zero emission energy future that provides opportunities for all okay so here both the statements are correct so correct option should be c Question number seven, which of the following statements is our correct regarding major economies forum on energy and climate? This was launched by former president Barack Obama in 2007 itself. Okay, US president in 2007. Class, this is what is major economies forum. Sometimes you have to decode the question with the help of information given in the question itself. Okay, this is about galvanizing the actions, the meeting aimed at galvanizing actions between developed, the developed and developing countries. For energy security, because these are the burning issues right now, energy security and tackling the menace of climate crisis this was the objective of it okay <clears throat> this is the meeting major economies forum was the meeting just before cop 27 so the agenda it could give a fillip a momentum to to the agenda of cop 27 let's read the statements first statement is it was launched in 2009 by the un secretary general this is a wrong statement Major Economies Forum meeting was aimed to restore 150 million hectares of world's degraded deforested lands by 2020 and 350 million hectares by 2030. Class, this is also wrong statement. This is called as bond challenge. Look, prelims is an examination where statements or the knowledge that you have learned is presented in front of you. It is a test of recognition. When we revise all information, we should be able to recognize the information. Sometimes the questions, this is an IQ based question, that whether you can recognize that this is not MEF, this is called bond challenge, about uh, restoration of the degraded lands. Got it? Statement 2 is also wrong. Correct answer should be D. Neither one nor two. Question number eight. Consider the following statements regarding World Organization for Animal Health. Yeah, it is a very old organization formed in 1924 itself. Its headquarters is located into Paris. What are the objective of World Organization for Animal Health? What is the objective of this organization? This was created in response to the need to fight animal disease at the global level global level animal diseases at the global level now we have evolved and we are talking about one planet one health but during 1924 it was a innovative idea the objective is to control the epizootic diseases Just now, 2020-2022, we have seen the problem of COVID virus. 
which has started from bats to pangolins to human beings so it is basically a zoonotic disease that is spread through human beings therefore this is important uh, controlling epizoonotic diseases the trade between animals among the countries is governed by world trade organization whenever there is trade amongst the animals then wto consults world organization for animal health regarding it epizoonotic diseases can also be like foot and mouth disease it also addresses the issues of antimicrobial resistance addresses the issues of antimicrobial resistance because you know the uh, injections of oxytocin is given for the milching animals for better production of milks and if this milk is transported to other countries this might create certain problems therefore it looks into amr also now look at the statements statement 1 it is the intergovernmental organization responsible for improving animal health worldwide yeah true india is one of the member countries yes oie standards are recognized by world trade organization as reference international sanitary rules yes sanitary and phytosanitary rules of world trade organization so all the statements seems very correct next question is consider the following statements regarding global ocean observing system okay class this system is about providing countries and end users with the critical information on physical chemical and biological essential ocean variables you get the point how the temperature salinity is changing of the ocean it is aimed at delivering for climate operational services and ocean health it is a very big system okay the important is who sponsored this project it is co sponsored by intergovernmental oceanographic commission ioc world meteorological organizations united nations environment program and international science council remember this it is co sponsored by them <clears throat> statement 2 india has set up indigenous indian ocean observing system indus as sustained observing system for indian ocean class no it was observed that a critical need for monitoring ocean in the indian ocean region by indian ocean research panel indian ocean research panel which is a part of world climate research program along with global ocean observing system both of them launched in indian ocean observing system it is not indigenous program so statement 2 is wrong which of the above statements is not correct has been asked not correct class so not correct is b two only got it because statement 1 is correct question number 10 consider the following statements regarding mauna loa observatory class where is mauna loa located it is located in to hawaii pacific ocean hawaii usa okay Mauna Loa, Mauna Kea. Mauna Loa is one of the five volcanoes making Big Island of Hawaii. Mauna Loa is also a volcano. At Mauna Kea, it is in Hawaii. Thirty meter telescope is there. On this volcanic observatory, we are monitoring carbon dioxide and other trace elements present in the atmosphere. statement 2 it is the first observatory to make use of keeling curve class keeling curve is used to monitor the carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere to measure the concentration of carbon dioxide see half the statement is true and half of the statement is wrong upsc use certain tail words to make the statement wrong sometimes it is an extreme statement sometimes it is different here the word is first no this is this observatory is not the first observatory although this observatory is using keeling curve for carbon dioxide monitoring but it is not the first observatory okay therefore statement 2 becomes wrong this project is run under national oceanic atmospheric administration of united states okay this project helps in estimating carbon dioxide levels for climate change specifically statement 1 is true statement 2 is false therefore 
again which of the above statements is not correct sometimes students do not read this word not correct please focus on this statement b is not correct correct answer should be b okay class keep attending the lectures and focus on solving the worksheets post you, uh, you study the lecture and the course is available both in online mode and offline mode okay our center is in delhi bangalore and pune you can join for crash course and all the best for your preparation thank you